Hello, hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and of course this is my channel. Before I get started, please follow me on Instagram right here at Jessica Y Kuma. Hit the I almost forgot. Hit the subscribe button down below. It helps me a lot. And hit the likes likes the likes up button. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my journey to veganism. So how I got to veganism and the things in between because I don't know if you know, but I started off being vegetarian. So we're going to take it back like 10 years ago, give or take. I'm 26, turning 27 at the end of this year. So I went around 16 years old. So I, I was in school, you know, like most 16 year old people. And I started feeling like depleted, tired, always like just no energy, honestly lifeless. Okay, that's how I felt. And I was like, you know what, something has to change because I just didn't feel good. And I knew at that like point in my life that I was like, no 16 year old girl honestly feels like this. Like I truly felt bad and I was like, something needs to change. So I started researching. I basically started researching online and I was like, I don't even know what I put into the search bar, but something along the lines of how can I be healthy? What can I do to be healthy? I don't know, something like that. And I came across vegetarian, very well, vegetarianism, like three days in a row. Those I only was researching for three days. The first two days I saw a vegetarian, I was like, uh, don't think it's really for me, just because I was like, uh, it's it's a stretch, it's too far. Maybe I can find something else. By the third day, I was sold. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. It is what it is. Let's go. And I'm a like type of person that I have to do something cold turkey. I can't like wean off of things you know i have to do it just like the next day boom it is what it is i'm all in or i'm not in i like that <laughs> so yeah the next day i was like you know what? i'm gonna be vegetarian and i did it i was just i was vegetarian from around 16 to 21 give or take you know some something like that around five years and then um at like the five year mark give or i keep saying give or take that's my favorite phrase of the day give or take around the five year mark i started feeling like low energy again i was like you know what something's not right so i didn't want to go back to eating meat because i was like you know what i'm kind of like over that phase i was so detached from me i was like no meat is not really for me it's not my thing but let's see like what else is out there so i started researching again me and my research i love research you know just researching find out information because i knew like what I was doing, like I was healthy for the most part, which I'll, that'll be a whole different video talking about um, my relationship with food. But yeah, I was like healthy overall, generally, basically. And started researching, I saw veganism, and, and the same thing that happened when I was like eating a normal, normal Western diet, I thought veganism is too far away, I can't do it, that's like, it's so not me. And then, so February of like, let's say 2015, 2016, somewhere around there, I made the decision to go vegan. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. But before that, oops, sorry. Rewind two seconds. Before that, I gave up dairy. Because I, when I was doing my research, I was like, you know what? Dairy seems to be coming up a lot as in something that's not good for you. So I gave up dairy. Um... I wasn't really having too much in the first place. Like, at first thing I changed for sure was milk. So, I wasn't having, like, cups of milk or anything. But I was having, like, cereal with milk or, like, um, make my smoothies with milk. Things like that. And then I just switched that to, like, plant-based milk. I think probably almond milk. I feel like almond milk was, like, the first most popular plant-based milk, if that makes sense. Like, oat milk, cashew milk, even soy milk. Those are kind of, like, newer, I think. I don't know. Anyways... So did that, whatever, let's fast forward to where I left off again. So I was like, you know what, February 2015, 2016, gonna go vegan, boom. I did it for um, a week. <laughs> and this is because, so it was my best friend's birthday, we went to a restaurant in Canada called The Keg and I ordered the Billy Miner pie. It looks like this. I made another video, I think it's on my channel, it's called like, my vegan journey or something something or why i became vegan but this is like an updated one more um more details i feel like i'm giving but anyways 
Um, so I ordered that, <laughs> even though I knew I was supposed to be vegan, because honestly, I said it, I said it before and I'll say it again, that, I keep putting it up on the screen, <laughs> that's the only thing that I truly miss. Like, people ask me all the time, do you miss meat? Like, will you ever go back to, or I'm going to be talking about that in the end, if I think I'm going to be vegan forever, but they're like, will you ever go back to eating meat? Do you miss steak? Honestly, never had it. Do you miss salmon? Never had it. Um, like seafood, things like that, and like I don't miss any of that. Um, so yeah, I ordered that, <laughs> and honestly, like I kept, I just, I had it, whatever. And I told myself afterwards, like either I'm sticking with vegetarianism or I actually have to become vegan and not have to, but actually become vegan and stay vegan. Like I can't keep going back and forth. So the following month, um, I became vegan and I stayed with veganism and I'm vegan now um, so that was like what five years ago six years ago March of this year 2021 will either be my fifth or sixth year being vegan but I, I don't know honestly I feel like unless you have a specific date unless you know the date it just becomes like a big blur you know it's like tattoos unless you once you get one two three four five six seven eight ten you're just like okay no one's really counting 11 12 13 and 14 don't know if that was a good analogy, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my vegan journey. But as for the future, if I do, I think I can't speak. As for the future, do I think I'll be vegan forever? And honestly, I do. I don't see myself going backwards. And to be honest, like my whole family eats meat. Most of my friends eat meat. It's just that's fine. If really if you know me in real life I don't judge like it is what it is I totally understand and the truth is like we're all biochemically unique so what works for me may not work for you and vice versa we're not the same you know so I like what I care about is like as long as like you're eating well you're feeding your body with nutritious foods and you actually feel good that's very important because I was doing blood tests every year just to make sure like everything was good internally you know, because you may be feeding yourself with the best, the best foods ever, but you may not be like, you may be deficient in certain nutrients, nutrients period. I was going to say min vitamins and minerals, but nutrients. So yeah, I was always, always checking that, but like since COVID happened, I haven't had a blood test in a while. So I'm definitely due for one, but yeah, I'll be doing that soon. Another thing too that can impact how you feel is external things. So basically you could be having so much stress going on in your life externally that internally you're impacted. So you have so much stress in your body that you can't even digest your food. Your nutrients aren't even being absorbed. So you can be having the best diet in the world, literally all the nutrients, you're getting it all, everything literally 100% every day, but you have 10 different things in your life that's like happening and you're like just like stressed out your body won't be able to process that food you're like you're under so much stress that you're honestly like shutting down so that's something to just like keep in the back of your head just in case you like you start all of a sudden feeling like tired and down and like you don't know why and you're literally eating the best like literally the best of the best food or like very healthy otherwise so that's basically my vegan journey if you want to go vegan yourself or if you have any vegan tips, you want me to do any vegan certain things on this channel, um, just send me a DM on Instagram, which I'll just leave right here since I'm doing the outro anyways. And yeah, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. So see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Adios. Don't know when I became Spanish, but that's that. Bye guys. <laughs>